Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 24th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here, always looking at our sun, as we've had a couple strong C-class solar flares to report. No more major CMEs thwarted our way. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing, some spectacular events from the sunspot groupings that are turning in and now Earth-facing. So heads up. Stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. I'll keep you updated here. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing, no major events to see, still a boring half of the sun. All of the action has been on the incoming cresting limb, especially in the northwest region. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last 48 hours of events, and just recently did see pretty strong C-class earth-facing solar flare, so R1 radio blackout impacts are expected right now, space weather conditions increasing, coronal hole earth-facing. 171 angstroms here. Yesterday we counted 11 sunspots. And today we're counting 12 across the surface of our sun. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed here with the dew for you. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy the show. As we have 12 sunspot regions that are earth facing right now four of them five of them actually are really grouped together in the northern hemisphere keeping an eye on those with a coronal hole in front of it very complex sun right now another look here at our sunspot regions and another light So four major dark hole sunspot regions in the north and a couple more forming in the southern parts. Amazing stuff. And right now our KP level is just about to hop up again as we are expecting our next space weather event tomorrow and into the day after. If you haven't seen the space weather spiral for that yet, please check it out. Having a look here at our sunspot regions in action, sped it up, put it in motion. You can really see how they interact with each other and move around and form quickly. Current space weather conditions are one minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 407 kilometers per second. That is up, but not, uh, not too bad. Solar X-ray flux showing a three strong C-class solar flares today. Proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity, hopping up to a 2.5. ISWA space prediction spiral, <laughs> set to give us a glancing blow here with that light latest CME. Strong C-class solar flare producing a CME. And as I said, set to give us a glancing blow, 28th into the 29th. And this is showing all of the space weather leaving our sun heading towards us and out into the abyss. Amazing images here as we've seen quite a few eruptions the last few days. I want to welcome all of the new followers. Thank you so much for subscribing and chiming in tonight. Much love. Now let's get to earthquakes. I did give you an earthquake update earlier as we had that large 6.9 earthquake in Mariana's Trench. Very shallow, 10 kilometer depth but multiple aftershocks continue through the region. 4.9 earthquake reported here, southern Indian uh, Antarctic Ridge, as well our deepest earthquake today, El Hoya, Argentina, 564 kilometer depth. That is deep for the region, 4.4. And as well, we got a little situation here happening. Panama, 4.3 to 4.9, five earthquakes through the region. As well notable here 4.9 there 
the islands right off of Southern California. Notable activity there off of Alaska, but nothing major to report. Looking at about 250 earthquakes in the past 24 hours, according to USGS. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated and most recent satellite imagery. Looking at Dokono in Indonesia, as well as newly awakened 20 hours ago, Bagana in Papua New Guinea, showing a pretty big SO2 cloud on the air quality forecast. Lots of flood alerts coming in from Thailand. We got Reventador in Ecuador. Got Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Semeru, Indonesia, Popo in Mexico, Fuego in Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru. Air quality burns lake. That's a little bit interesting there. Air quality watch. What's going on there? Apparently the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change has posted an air quality report for BC, Vernon, BC. Got Kluchevskoy in Russia. And as well, look at all these earthquakes popping off. Marianas Trench. And they did post a tsunami watch, but there is no tsunami imminent. No tsunami expected from that large earthquake today. It was shallow. We don't normally get uh, the tsunamis, and it was off coast quite a bit. So lots of cold temperatures flooding into eastern North America dipping down to a minus double digits overnight with the wind chills, minus 10 to minus 12. Pretty big system here affecting Indonesia, Java region, and as well the Philippines. Lots of rain. Overlooking the Atlantic, strong low still being pushed into southern Spain and North Africa, but high pressure ridge looks like it's going to blow it out of the water. We'll see what happens here in the next 24 hours. But that system could go roaring into the Mediterranean. So heads up, there are a couple lows that have been lingering around through the region, and they're all set to join forces in the long-range forecast. You have, if you haven't seen it, please check it out last night. We've also got SO2 coming out from California today. Who knows what was going on there? Maybe that's air quality, all the dry air being pushed north. That could be dust storm as well. But yeah, big plumes coming off Kamchatka, eastern Russia, California. Very interesting there. SO2 coming out of California. Have to do some more investigating. Huge SO2 cloud over the central and west Pacific right now. From Uluwan Volcano. And as well from Bagana in Papua New Guinea. Having a look here over Central America, pretty big eruption at Popo overnight, so big forecast plume. It's going to rocket right over Florida. And then I noticed something here in the Southern Hemisphere, the Michael Volcano. Only two volcanoes in the Southern Hemisphere that are active in erupting, the Michael Volcano and as well Erubus. Thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Be nice and kind to each other. And love one another. Stay away and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.